think the greatest testament we have is actually our longevity. Very few companies have survived over 50 years. We have. Very few companies have the resume that we have with the number of customers. Literally, we've helped countries around the world go to space. We've helped them develop medicines. We've helped them with food supply chain services. Really, all aspects of life our company touches. Historically, we are Airfloat, and so with that, we have the Aircaster. We've moved more uh, as line production systems into solutions that would be more mechanical. That started with more ergonomic equipment. As we move forward, we do a lot of heavy industry turntables, and also we've moved into welding technology, conveyors and assembly lines. And then most recently, we've been working as Hadeen USA, and the focus of that is to take very heavy equipment and move it on wheels throughout a plant. We're known in the industry as overbuilding what we do. I mean, we, we make high quality Cadillac stuff. So, you know, we don't compete on price typically. Uh, we compete on quality and on service. And so once you get through one project with us, you see what it's like to have the good thing. And, and so you don't come back to the, the old ways. Most people are focused on aerospace. They're focused on automotive. Our products are able to be adapted to so many different industries and the value that that provides in the marketplace, you don't see that recipe, you don't see that that model in a lot of companies. It's just, it's, it's pretty remarkable, really. We stand behind our product, whether it's a custom build or a standard product for us. If the customer's not happy, you know, we go out and fix it or work on it until they are happy. We're designing a piece of equipment that's never been built before to move a lot of times a piece of equipment that's never been built before. Sometimes it is frustrating to build these things and sometimes it's a little maddening even, but the reward always, always comes at the end and we always solve the problem. We always work through these puzzles. It's not necessarily what we make, it's, it's, it's really more about how we do what we do and why we do what we do. I like to look at the, the, the intangible stuff. It's the quality of people I get to work with every day. It's the quality of customers we have. It's the pride in looking at the craftsmanship of our product. Our people are innovative. They're having fun doing what they do. There's just an energy level that um, really sustains itself. We, as a company, build very complex, very unique machines. And at the end of the day, we have a strong team of very creative, very safety-oriented engineers that are willing to take on the challenge of new things and build something that's not only functional but also sustainable. From the engineers that uh, that work down in St. Louis to all of the people that work up here and the shop guys themselves, we are trying to build something better than what we found. To add my little piece to that story and to try to carry on the success that I'm benefiting from right now is a fabulous thing. When I think about the future of our company, we are going to be a technology company. And so innovation has to continue to be the lifeblood of our company. And I believe that is the future that will define us.